Hey everybody out there, this is Seto Kaiba from your Yu-Gi-Oh! chat channel. And today guys, I want to talk about, you know, what do you feel like are the top tier decks since we're kind of in the middle of the format, uh, it's midway almost, but how do you think this format has shaped up? And I thought about this for about 30 minutes last night, and I thought about it again this morning after playing on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro and DN uh, a little bit the last couple of days and the thing I came to a conclusion about is outside of dragon rulers or decks that end in ruler like ruler because they use dragon rulers like dragoonity ruler blue eyes ruler you know decks like that you know besides that deck those decks if you take those decks and put them over here we'll put them up here as the number one deck because of popularity because of consistency etc because of pop you know because of the broken combos, that's the reason why they're number one. Besides that, the format is very diverse. When, I mean, for the most part, when I'm playing in real life at locals, a lot of my decks that I play, things like Dark World, Six Sam's, Gravekeepers, etc., you guys know how many decks I really play. I play a lot. The fact is that outside of facing a Dragon Ruler match, it's very you know, even, it's more of an even playing field than I've seen in a long time for most decks. Um, yes, there are some decks that are better than others. Some decks have better matchups against certain decks. For example, Dark Worlds dominate Gravekeepers because of, you know, Necro Valley and all that. But, you know, besides that factor, it's a very diverse format outside of Dragon Rulers. Think about it. Think about it. Mill it over for a second. Chew on it, you know. Think about it. Outside of Dragon Rulers, if they weren't a deck right now and just used for, um, you know, like like I've always said before, like Blaster and, you know, Fire and Tidal and Water and etc. for Redox and Gadgets and stuff like that. Besides all that, if Dragon Rulers weren't a deck, this format, I think, would have actually been very, very diverse. Um, I have a feeling. Uh, but... You know, maybe I'm wrong. We that's hindsight. Hindsight's a damn thing. But uh, what do you feel like? Do you feel like if Dragon Rulers were not a deck, and you know, right now, do you think the format would be more diverse? I think it would be, because I feel like outside of Dragon Rulers right now, the format is very, very diverse. And I will look. I wanted to see if I'm the only one that sees this, or am I just seeing you know something else? Some so let me know guys, either thumbs up the video if you think that the format is actually diverse outside of Dragon Rulers, or just comment down below. Um, I look forward to seeing your opinions on this because I feel I'm not alone because I talked to a couple of my other friends and people I know online and stuff like that that play on DN and Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro with me. And they kind of agreed too that outside of Dragon Rulers, uh, or with decks that end in Ruler, quote unquote, it's a very diverse format. So I look forward to seeing your comments and seeing what you guys feel about this topic. Do you feel that's very diverse outside of Dragon Rulers, this format? Take care, everybody. Seto Kaiba, I'm out of here, guys.